Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Love to be Healthy call. Uh, today, we're going to be focusing on eating whilst working out. Um, we've got the new Lift Ball program launch. Well, our challenge group starts this week, and the program launches on the 16th. So, we just thought we'd cover how you can eat and exercise to fit your needs, uh, and also whether you want to follow the Lift Ball calendar or stick with two mindset, whichever suits you. Um, so we've had a bit of discussion about this because this is something that hasn't been covered in depth as yet. Uh, the tax got a, sort of a reasonably good idea of what to do with two B mindset. So if, if you want to talk through basics of two B mindset and working out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, to be mindset, is, um, if you're following the regular plan, it's 50% um, carbs in the morning, 50% um, protein. So um, it depends. If you're going to be working out in the morning, then I would advise having more carbs in the morning afterwards, just so that it gives you more sustained energy release. Um, however, if you're, uh, if you're working out in the evening, then perhaps adjust your protein intake afterwards as well, rather than your carbs, because the carbs will release the energy a little bit slower and you don't want that, you know, you're not expending so much energy in the evenings. Um, so perhaps uh, just um, adjusting your protein to the carbs uh, slightly in the evenings as well. So it just, uh, you know, just drop us a message, like if you need some advice in terms of um, when you should be eating and when you should be working out, because then I think you just need to adjust when you should be eating as and when really. Uh, in accordance to this, because um, the the two B mindset is is based around people not working out. So if you're doing lift, then obviously you just need to adjust that slightly. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you've got to fuel your body, um, and it could be you know, especially with lift four, which is why we want to start it two weeks earlier, really, so people can get you know accustomed to how you how you eat. You can start tracking it. Uh, if you're adding exercise and you haven't done it before, and you may need, like Pac said, an extra carb in the day or an extra protein at night, depending, you know, what you feel your body needs. And it's the same basic thing where you just need to track it. You just need uh, an understanding of, of what you're feeding into your body. Obviously, if you're doing a workout, you're burning more calories. So you can account for that extra snack or what have you. But at the same time, you know, you don't want it to come a meal and, and overbalance your calories. So it, it's a careful balancing act, but you've just got to sort of keep an idea of what you're putting into your body and track it and stay on top of it. It's yeah, I think that's the key, isn't it, to track it. I mean, Alana says that not to kind of look at how many calories you think you've burned, and then that gives you kind of like a free ride to go and have something that's X amount of calories, because she says that you're much more likely to overeat and not lose weight that way. So like exactly what you guys are saying, you should be doing it quite methodical depending on when you work out and what your body needs. Because like I tend to work out, I either work out really early in the morning at like 6 a.m. or I'll work out once I've taken the kids to school at nine o'clock. Um, and I usually always follow my workout with a Shakeology, but I stick in a whole banana, almond milk, ice. I stick in a bit of peanut butter as well. And I find that that, like does it for me that really fuels me through the morning after that sort of workout so like you guys are saying i think it's just finding the right time that you work out and what you have after you work out you know you don't want to eat something that's full of carbs at nine ten o'clock at night because you're going to be going to sleep and you're not going to be burning them off yeah, yeah. So do you think about your snackional options as well so uh if you are following the to be mindset to a t um that's fantastic. However, you should still fuel your body, like Chris said, to fuel your body uh, if you are working out. Um, you don't have to fuel it like massively if you don't want to, but you do need to make sure you eat something after after working out. Otherwise, well, at, at least drinking uh, quite a lot of water. You lose about a litre of water per hour from working out anyway. So just make sure that you do fuel your body, either, you know, at least with a banana or an apple or something like that, and maybe like a beach bar. That's a perfect, uh, you know, uh, snack as to yeah. uh, have after a workout. So I, I had one after my run this morning, and you know that was great. And a shakeology. So yeah, that was a that was a you know good option there. Yeah, I mean, with it being sort of a weight training workout as well. I, I mean, I tend to train at night. Um, 
So once I've finished something like, you know, protein recovery or something like that is ideal for sort of feeding your muscles, uh, helping repair your muscles. And, you know, and that should keep you full for the night. You don't need to eat a carb heavy meal or anything like that. You know, if you do want carbs and, you know, something like fruit is good, with natural sugars and what have you, rather than eating, you know, something unhealthy that has no benefits. But generally, you know, a protein at night, I always find is the correct way to go, um, whether it be a protein shake or Greek yogurt or something like that. So that's what I'd suggest from personal experience. No, definitely. And she talks about, like you said before, Tack, about water. She says that one of her like main things to, um, to talk about when working out is that you shouldn't leave the space that you've worked out in until you've had like a whole, you know, one of these, a bottle of these of water. Because she says otherwise you tend to leave your workout space, get busy, and you don't replenish what you've lost when you work out. So she's kind of saying, you know, know your water allowance and. she's frozen <laughs> she has frozen yeah absolutely so make sure that you do hydrate with plenty of water um even with hydrate or like if you if you're working out in the evening chris then um you know if you can get um beach body recover then that's quite a good option as well if you're having food late at night think about your veggies but plant-based veggies and um there's a list of them in the go-to guide um Beans are a really, really great option, like uh, edamame beans and uh, lupini beans, um, kidney beans and um, butter beans as well. So those are really great options. Um, and mix it in with um, green veg, just do a stir fry perhaps. Um, and, uh, you know, that's a, that's a great option to, to fuel your body after a workout as well. Yeah. So the other thing we wanted to cover is... Say if you wanted to do the lift for nutrition plan, which if you've got the guy, it's very beach body nutrition style. So if you've ever done a beach body nutrition with all the colour containers and everything, that's basically what it is. It does give you options if you don't have the containers, you know, portion sizes and what have you to, to follow. Um, but say if you want to jump onto that and you're currently doing to be mindset, uh, what we'd suggest is, you know, follow basic idea of to be mindset um, when you're building your meals um, track it all and just stick with those sort of portions and colors and what have you um, you know if you need to increase the veggies with any of the beach body programs i'm sure vegetables are free sort of thing so although it says like you know well four portions of veg if you need to increase anything they always say increase your vegetables so um, but obviously this calculates calories for you. So if you're doing a program like this, it's going to put you in a certain plan, and um, give you an idea of what sort of portion sizes you can eat. So yes, it's, it's going to be different from a to be mindset, but it doesn't mean you can follow the, you can't follow to be mindset rules of tracking, uh, you know, drinking lots of water and vegetables and what have you. It's certainly doable, but it's just going to be a bit different. Absolutely. Download the Beach Body Nutrition app as well, or My Fitness Pal. Um, you know, both are great tools uh, to to use to track your foods. If not, then track it in the uh, the diary that you get with the To Be Mindset um, the booklet. Uh, so that's a great way to to refer back to um, you know the foods that you've eaten as well. So as long as you do track it, refer back to it, and you know rather than just track it and then forget about it do remember to to look back on it and see how that affects uh, your workouts and your weight loss as well because that's really important um, and you know it's an important way to utilize that tool yeah i think if um if you can if you're flex if you're able to be flexible with your workouts it's worth trying a morning workout and trying an evening workout and tracking both and seeing how they work as well you know if you can be flexible some people they can only do it in the morning they can only do it in the evening that's fine but it sometimes it can be interesting if you do it at different times to track it and actually see which way your body prefers you to do it as well it's probably a good guide yeah and that's why we wanted to do this two week early start as well you know so the workouts i'll be posting the calendar later today um but the idea is you can you've got two weeks now to really play around with things with the 20 minute workouts and what have you and get used to it 
get used to like this style of working out, this style of eating. Um, and like Kirsten Tapp was saying, find out whether you want to eat at workout during the morning or the night. You've got two weeks to figure out which works for you best uh, whilst following these sort of nutrition plans and everything. So this is these next two weeks are your sort of test period to get used to it or get your body, you know, used to lifting, get your nutrition on par and get your, you know, timings all right. So hopefully once it kicks off on the 16th, we're all going to be ready, hit the ground running and really get great results. So that's the idea anyway. We will, we yeah. will. Yeah, absolutely. And do you think about if you are in the middle of 2B mindset at the moment, I know that we're like a month and a half, maybe two months into uh, the plan already. If you are starting a new program such as Lift 4, then um, do try and start afresh. You know, if you are uh, using it uh, alongside that, do, do sort of like make a fresh page or fresh week in your diary to track your food because that really will make a difference compared to the first month where it purely is. Um, looking at your your nutrition uh, without any workouts so um, do do have a look at the differences and reflect back on the months and we'll have that discussion uh, in in the call later on like in a month or two time just to see what the differences are so do make sure you do that as well okay is there anything else you want to add or do you think we've covered it there I don't think so. I think the only thing that Alana always says is to remember that you can't out train a bad diet. So don't let your diet slip because, or not your diet as such, but the way you eat slip because you're working out. Don't get comfortable thinking because I've done a workout, I can have this, I can have that. It's, it is about what we've said really about making sure you make the right choices in what you have. Absolutely. It's all about progress, isn't it? And uh, that will only set you back and uh, you know, that's the whole point of the 2P mindset. You want to keep focusing on progression, um, on your nutrition. It's not an excuse because you're working out. You can eat what you want. Um, you want to make those changes and get into that mindset of wanting to eat healthier and eating the right proportions of what you should be eating as well. So do make sure that you do consider that. Yeah. Okay. Awesome, guys. So... Obviously, it was just us three on today, but <clears throat> we've recorded it. It will be posted in the groups. Any comments or questions regards to the eating system, uh, post them because you know we want to help you get it right. We want to help you find what works for you. Um, you know, for these next two weeks, like we said. So, um, I hope this is helpful. It will be posted in both groups so you can both use it uh, to help get the results and everything. So, thanks, guys. Okay, thanks. All right. Bye.